In recent weeks, gold has soared to new record highs. Meanwhile, silver has rallied, but it's very far from its all-time high. So why is gold rallying and why has it left silver behind? First, consider the unusual nature of gold's rally. Normally, gold prices do the opposite of what interest rate expectations do. When bond traders move towards expecting more rate cuts, gold typically rallies. And when they expect fewer rate cuts or more rate hikes, gold usually falls. In the past couple of months, however, gold has rallied despite Fed funds futures depricing many of the cuts that traders had previously expected for 2024. So why is gold rallying when investors have gone from expecting six cuts to only two or three? It appears that one or more large investors has taken a long position in out-of-the-money call options on gold, sometimes with strike prices as high as $3,000 per ounce, perhaps positioning themselves either for large rate cuts that are not currently anticipated by bond traders or for increased geopolitical instability. The fact that the rally is not fully translated to silver may be an indication that either the gold rally is overextended or that mm -hmm. silver has substantial catching up to do on the upside. Silver could potentially gain versus gold. At the moment, one ounce of gold buys about 84 ounces of silver. Back in 2011, one ounce of gold bought as few as 30 ounces of silver. In other words, silver was once more than twice as expensive in gold terms than it is today. Now that said, silver has far more industrial uses in gold and has probably been held back by soft growth in China and may also be more threatened in gold by the potential for a global slowdown in the face of tighter central bank policy.